Here with a special report on breast reconstruction is our reporter Laura Windsor. Breast reconstruction after a mastectomy has evolved over the last century to become an integral component in the therapy for many women with breast cancer. Dr. Amin Habash of Desert Regional Medical Center in Palm Springs talks about if breast reconstruction has become a standard of care after breast cancer. The main reason people have breast reconstruction obviously is, is cancer and with um, cancer being rather uh, prevalent in the female population, about one in eight women will deal with breast cancer in their lifetime. We've started to really evolve and, and notice that it's just not treating the cancer but the reconstruction is a big component of the treatment process. So the Susan, Susan G. Komen uh, Foundation has really brought a lot of attention towards breast cancer awareness and diagnosis. And they've also helped with um, the breast cancer reconstruction aspects of that as well. Breast reconstruction, really, there's two timing modalities. One is immediate breast reconstruction, where we do the reconstruction at the time of the mastectomy. And then often the other option is a delayed reconstruction, where we could do that years after the mastectomy. And that really depends on the patient. Often the patient has just been told they're going to have a mastectomy and been diagnosed with breast cancer. They're overwhelmed by the process, and reconstruction is the last thing on their mind. They have the luxury of coming back two, three years later after they've gone through the treatment, possible chemo and radiation, and then we're able to address the defect and try to reconstruct the breast. Other women want to go through with immediate reconstruction, and we go ahead and do that at the same time. It's a joint case with the uh, surgical oncologist where they'll do the mastectomy and we, uh, we do the immediate reconstruction. There are several modalities we use for reconstruction, and that really comes into play, especially if they're going to be going through chemo or, or radiation. Can breast reconstruction be done after a radical mastectomy? When somebody's gone through a total mastectomy, um, there are essentially two options for breast reconstruction. One is an implant or prosthesis re, uh, reconstruction. The other is uh, autologous or their own tissue reconstruction. And this is something that we d discuss extensively during our consultation. Uh, really talk about the, the benefits and, and even the drawbacks of each one of those and then try to tailor the plan to the patient and their expectations. There are certain things that will force our hand a little bit. If somebody is going to be receiving radiation, it really does limit our options as far as implant reconstruction, um, sometimes forcing us to do a little bit more of autologous reconstruction, which some patients are a little bit more reluctant to go through. When you deal more and more with the breast cancer patients, you understand that it's more than just a surgery. You understand the impact it has on their body self-image, how they view themselves, how it impacts their daily activities. And as you start to appreciate that, I think it does not only give you the insight, but it allows you to really be a lot more empathetic. And as you get that empathy um, and really feel for them, then I think that you, as you go through the process uh, of the reconstruction, and most of the times it, it is a multiple step process, um, it does allow you to really be there with the patient throughout the whole process. You don't just simply perform a surgery and then that's it. You really walk them through the entire, that entire stage of their life. Dealing with the trauma of breast cancer and then having to undergo a mastectomy, a woman shouldn't have to feel like she's lost an important part of herself, especially when breast reconstruction is an option. I'm Laura Windsor for the American Health Journal.